92. Uh, in the background, that way, that way, that is the Jordan-Iraq border. Just took us a long time, what, five, six hours to get through that? Yeah, it was at two o'clock. And we even, nine. we even had help on the Iraq side. We had, oh, here come all the trucks. We, uh, we ended up staying with somebody whose father was a very important person, a general. He organized military escort all the way to the border. It did mean we rode uh, more than we wanted to yesterday because uh, they made us go to the border. But we ended up sleeping at the border in the captain's office. He put a bed down on the floor. We had dinner with him. Uh, it was all very nice. Uh, we were very well looked after. In going into Jordan, we've just switched over to our Australian passports, which is a huge relief uh, because we eventually want to make our way over to Iran and we don't have a visa for Iran, which you need to already have organized on your British passport. Stu's been asking at every border for a while now if we can switch over and we've been trying to get exit stamps, put in two passports uh, and no luck, but we, we did it today. Um, so uh, well done Stu for persisting with that. We did make this stop, not to do the recording, but because Azra Kadabra puked. That was my fault. I know what she's like. I, I was trying to feed her over the five hours we were doing the border crossing or whatever. I, I kept trying to feed her, but every time I got the food out, I got called off to some office somewhere and it never happened until just before we left. And I know what she's like. And when she eats and then she travels, she pukes. So she did eat it again. So it wasn't wasted. We didn't shadow a good, they're on my bike riding together because they both like the door open. Azra actually, she'll have the door closed with the window open. That's how she likes it. Cause she just curls up in a little ball and goes to sleep. So Jordan, here we come. Looking forward to uh, what it has to offer. We have been riding beside the Dead Sea. It's the Dead Sea Road for a little while now. And then we saw this cafeteria so we pulled in but of course it's closed because it's Ramadan um, but we were hoping to get some information to find out where we could go for a swim in the Dead Sea there's just been all these signs uh, skull and crossbones and sort of a very clearly no swimming so uh, yeah not sure if we're gonna be able to go for a swim or not but this has been a good break anyway all the girls have gone to the toilet and they've had a drink it's actually not that hot uh, it's a cooler day today, so it's very pleasant down here at minus 400 metres. We're in Jordan, and that's Israel over the other side. It's a nice day, it's not too hot, and we've just spotted some people swimming. All the white bits around the edges, that's soft, beautiful water, very pretty. Quite a stunning landscape. Quite rocky getting down to the Dead Sea. I don't know about not getting burnt. I'm not I feel like well, I haven't seen the sun in a while, but a few years really, but yeah, I feel like I could get burnt here. <laughs> Dogs can't go in. Dogs are not going in. Azra doesn't know if she likes water yet, so we're gonna keep it that way. And weed in shadow. They definitely don't like water, just to drink it. Come on, Shadow, this way. It looks really salty. It does, doesn't it? Look at that, that's salt. Yeah. It's pretty though, it's all sparkly. I can't wait to get in. been here for a swim and it's pretty awesome actually uh, really really awesome experience glad we did it there's a place to have a shower it's just a bucket shower you just buy water from the um, the shop take it in there and just pour it all over yourself to get rid of all that salt because it is very very salty another great experience
I woke up this morning in Dana, which is a really beautiful kind of canyon area. We were up elevated a little bit and looking over the campsite was looking over the, um, the cliff edge. And then we rode, it was only 45 minutes or so to get here and now we are in Petra which is a place that has been on my itinerary right from the start of the trip and I am really excited about going there tomorrow. We've just started the walk to Petra. All three girls. Hey Shetty. Come on Shetty. Keep up. <laughs> so why did we bring our dogs with us? <laughs> Well, that's a very complicated and long answer. <laughs> but the short answer is we didn't want to leave in the hotel room all day. <laughs> Shadow is shattered and she has been carried for most of the day. She has done a little bit of walking and it was enough to absolutely wipe her out. These guys also shattered, Weedy more so. Azra has pretty much walked the whole day. She hasn't been, she's been carried little bits but mostly she's done it herself. Weedy has been carried most of the day but the little bit of walking she's done has been too much for her. And there are, Weedy and Shadow are both old girls, so it's to be expected.